forget all that Is it chill that you're in my head? Cause I know that it's delicate Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing slash a review of Laura Lee's new palette is the Nudie Patootie palette. This box was just delivered to my door and so I did my makeup which will be on my Instagram. So go check that out. This is my account right here if you want to go check that out. Yeah. Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe and like this video. So first I'm cutting into the box. I'm so excited. Okay, so when you open the box, it just shows her logo and then <gasps> look at the inside. It's got Laura Lee's face. Um yes. And then on the back it just shows the palette and all of the shades. And then oh my god. This is how it looks. Let me get the cat's pajamas. It's in bubble wrap. It is so pretty. Okay, so this is the outer packaging. It's got her new emblem. And oh my god, this packaging is so pretty. Oh my god. This is literally the prettiest palette. And on the inside, it's like this foiled look. It's like a rose gold, but like kind of more of a copper y color. Literally, the shades look beautiful. The glitters in here look amazing. And so does the, it looks so pretty. So I believe this palette is, yeah, it's the same price as her other palette, which the cat's pajamas. Literally, this palette is huge. Do you see this? So this is the cat's pajamas. It has um, 10 shades and the nudie patootie has 14 shades. You get four extra sh shades and she said that the pan size were the same, which is true. The pan sizes are the same in these palettes, but you are getting more shades in the new palette and it's still the same price. So that is amazing. Aw, it's already I already broke it a little. Oh, it's so pretty. So off the bat, I already like this palette more than the cat's pajamas because I like the lighter shades. I think I'm going to start by putting undressed just all over my lid to set the concealer that's on my lid. Even though it's a little more yellow toned. Oh, I probably should have used streaking. Oh well. We're going to have a yellow base. I definitely want to use the yellow shade strip. I think the reason I got this palette was because of strip and bare. The pink and the yellow. Okay, so it's like we already went in with like a transition. So I'm just going to go. So I'm just going to go straight into strip, which is the yellow. Okay, so there's like no fallout already, which I know some people are picky about that. Honestly, I don't really care. Okay, so I can't go too crazy with this look because I do have some more to go, but like this is a nude palette, so this is going to be a nude look. I'm going to go in with Bare, which is the pink shade, and I'm going to focus it more on my lid, but also the outer corner. And by the way, I'm just taking a Y17 brush. I already am in love with this palette. I could just see me using this every day, and I love the packaging. Okay, now I want to deepen things up, so I'm going to go into Butt Naked. So I'm just blending this into the crease. Deepening the look a little more. So far I have no problems about this palette. I love it so much. I'm just gonna take um, some of Streaking, which is this shade. And I'm gonna kind of pat it on my lid, like on the more inner part. Not as light as I thought. I'm just gonna go in go in with stark this might be a little too white but i'm just packing it on the inner corner does that have some shimmer i should have worn my laura lee los angeles sweatshirt oh my gosh i wasn't really planning to film this it just showed up at my door so i really wanted to open it i'm just gonna start working on my lower lash line now i'm just gonna go in with undressed first 
Now I kind of want to go for just a matte look, but also I want to try out like one of these glitters or shimmers. Okay, so the shade Jaybird is really calling out to me, so I'm at least going to swatch it first. That's just what it looks like on my finger. Oh my god. Okay, actually, I now really want to put that on my lid. So I am going to get a glitter primer. So I am just using the NYX glitter primer. I heard that the pigment primer is really good, but this is just the one that I have. I'll just tap some of that. And I'm just going to use this flat brush from ColourPop. And I'm going to take Jaber. I think it actually is better to use with my finger. It's like easier to pick up. But I'm going to try... Oh my god. Oh my god. But I was just saying <laughs> that it, I'm just going to try it with a brush first. This is actually so stunning. Okay, I'm going to put a little on my finger. <laughs> it's so easy to do with my finger. It's just for getting it where it, I want it to be. It's easier to do on the brush. But it's just good to know that it works well that way Ooh. oh my god like that is actually gorgeous the glitter shades are so amazing this is such a cool shade i'm gonna go in a little with butt naked and just put it on the outer edge where i didn't put the glitter i'm going back in with that white kind of shimmery shade called stark um all i have to say about the glitter shades is that when you're dipping into the shade the pan is going to kind of fall apart because it is very loosely pressed so i just wanted to say that i just took a little bit of strip which is that yellow and put it under and then i'm just popping a little more of stark onto my inner corner I can't wait to try all of the shades I did not use today because I'm sure they will be amazing. I'm going to finish off the look with some mascara and a lip. So I'm going to take the Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara. And this mascara has two steps. So first I put on step one, which is the fibers. And then I don't put the step one on my lower lash line. I just, I only put this step two on my lower lash line. I love how this is making my eye, my eyes look, it looks more green. For, okay, so for the lip, I think I'm going to put on this Kiko pencil lip gloss. Such an interesting concept. What I like about this lip is that it has a matte look, but it's also very comfortable and it doesn't dry out my lips. So I think this is the overall look. I'm going to finish off the look with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And this is good if you already have mascara on, like me, and you forgot to set your makeup first. Um, this is just very light, so it's not going to make your mascara run immediately. And then after I spray things, I always just go in with some kind of beauty blender and I press it in. Sometimes it leaves little splotches on your face and also this will just make sure it's fully absorbed into your skin. So I'll show you guys a close-up of this eye look so you can see everything. As you can see the reflection on this eyeshadow is so cool. So my final review on this palette is that I think this palette is amazing and I see myself using this a lot in the future. The packaging is so pretty. There are four extra shades than her last palette. 
so you are getting more for your money because it is still the same price which that also means that you get a bigger mirror like look how long this is really good for every day but also you can create great evening looks with the with some of the glitters and also there are some darker shades and you can get a great smoky look so overall i think that this is amazing and i highly recommend getting this palette i know that she is also releasing lips which um they came out later than the palette i don't even know if they're out yet and yes i would say that i like this palette more than the cat's pajamas but that's just because i like the colors better in this palette i feel like in the cat's pajamas there's some really good staple shades i don't always wear a lot of the darker shades just because sometimes it can look kind of harsh on me i think that personally i look better when i wear lighter shades even though the shades in this palette the whole bottom row goes so well with my eye color it makes my eyes pop so much so i do love that about the palette but yes it's just so pretty so that is all for this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe down below and give this video a like um so yeah i'll see you in my next one side me and you handsome to a mansion with a view to the girls back home touch you like i touch